This is GSM Plus Wi-Fi Alarm System. In this video, we will guide you how to use mobile app. For example, how to connect Wi-Fi on Alarm Host, how to authorize more users to use app, how to add IP camera. First, download app from Google Play and Apple Store. Apple Store, user need to search eWi-Fi GSM Alarm System. Google Play search Wi-Fi GSM Alarm System. After download app, user need to click the sign up free button to register an account. Avoid to forget the password, user can retake password while using email address. After register the account and login app, then we should start the first operation, connect Wi-Fi for alarm host. Users should remember to power on panel with adapter before Wi-Fi connection. Point 1. How to connect Wi-Fi while using Android mobile phone. Firstly, connect network for smartphone. Turn to app, click Wi-Fi setup in Android app. Suggest the click plain test password. Input Wi-Fi name and password. Then go to alarm post to find Wi-Fi menu. Go into the sub menu. Click right left button to choose Wi-Fi on off. Choose Wi-Fi on to make panel work with Wi-Fi. Choose Wi-Fi off to make panel work with GPIS network. Then choose Wi-Fi bonding. After the menu appear, go to mobile click connect on app. Then click Android mobile phone connecting. After OLED display appear success, go to home page and wait a moment. Once it appear Wi-Fi icon and internet icon, that means connect Wi-Fi successful. Point 2. How to connect Wi-Fi while using iPhone? Firstly, connect network for smartphone. Turn to app, click Wi-Fi setup in iPhone. Suggest the click plain test password. Input Wi-Fi name and password. Then go to alarm host to find Wi-Fi bonding menu. After appear, go to mobile, click connect on app. The next operation will be different. You should go to iPhone setting menu and find IDAP TAC. Click it. Then go to app Wi-Fi connect interface and click connect. Then wait for Wi-Fi bonding. After OLED display appear, appear success, go to home page and wait a moment. Once it appear Wi-Fi icon and internet icon, that means connect Wi-Fi successful. Point 3. Add equipment to a QR code. Every alarm host has QR code. The first person who scan the QR code is the administrator. After scan the QR code, User can go to switch equipment to check whether you edit equipment successful. After you edit equipment successful, then you can operate app or in all functions. Note: Before you scan QR code, avoiding the reseller take wrong real cover after testing. You may check whether your hand QR code is the correct one. The check way. The check way is very easy. Go to alarm host menu, find machine information, check whether the serial number is same as your hand QR code. If your hand QR code is wrong, you can find the right serial number in the alarm panel. Then you, you can go to make the right QR code with the serial number via network. Note 2. The alarm host only can be controlled by the first person who scan QR code. 
means administrator. If you are reseller for testing, please remember to unbind equipment after test because the end user can only add the equipment and become new administrator after reseller's account unbind equipment. If you do not unbind the equipment, even, even if you unload the app, the end user still can't add this equipment. Note 3. If end user fail to add equipment, please try to contact the person who has become the administrator and ask him unbind equipment. If the administrator account is user's old account, user can just log in your old account with new phone and unbind the equipment. It will does not matter if the old account phone number is still work or not. Point 4. Authorization. Our alarm host can be controlled by maximum 4 users. The first user who scan QR code is administrator. He can give authorization or he can give authorization to other three users. For other three users, please remember to download app and sign up firstly and get the right to be authorized. Then administrator can successfully give authorization. Login app. Go into authorization menu. Click authorization button. Choose input user ID and then input the authorized person's cell phone number. Remember this authorized person's cell phone number should be registered before this operation. After the authorization is successful, the authorized person can arm disarm the panel for trial. Check the switch equipment. You will find the panel has already listed. Many customers can't make authorization successfully because the authorized user hasn't signed up in APP. The three authorized users can control panel directly without scan QR code again. Point 5. Add IP camera. Users need to download IP camera app first. The download name is UC. The old app download address is 2CU. The new app download address is UC. Note, Angel can download 2CU and UC, and both these two app can work with our alarm app. If UC cannot work, user can make trial for 2CU, but iOS can only download UC to work with our alarm host app. Users will see two ways to add IP camera, that is smart link and manual add. Manual add. Enter alarm panel app interface. Press monitor button to enter IP camera device list interface. Press the add button on the top right corner and choose manual add. Now enter IP camera ID, input device name and input device password. Press the to finish adding. Now power on the IP camera and connect IP camera with network cable. Then the IP camera can connect with network. Refresh device list. Then users can see the IP camera will be online. Click that IP camera device. Appear playback setting and edit buttons. Choose setting to enter below interface. Choose network settings to enter below interface. Choose the accessible Wi-Fi in the list. Enter password and press OK button to finish setting. Then device can work with Wi-Fi network and users can pull up the network cable. Point 6. How to learn RFID keypad. Go to Alarm Host to choose Learning Sensor menu. Press OK button. Then trigger RFID keypad temper switch. Once Alarm Host appears success, then learning successful.
Point seven: How to learn while studying. Before studying learning, users need to safeguard studying time. Reference as below. Why is outdoor studying learning? Switch on the studying. Go to alarm post to choose register menu. Choose RF outdoor studying. Now turn to the studying. Keep press the learning button of studying about three seconds. Then release. Saturn will go into in learning status and flash. Now press the OK button on panel. An OLED display appear register and start coding. After the Saturn sound beep beep and the OLED display success, then learning successful. What is indoor Saturn learning? Power on the Saturn. Go to alarm post to choose register menu. Choose RF indoor siren. Press the OK button on panel and OLED display appear register. Now turn to the siren. Press the learning button on siren and release. Siren will go into learning status and the siren will flash and make sound like DD. After the siren sound stop and stop flash also. OLED display success, then learning successful. Point 8. About GPRS network. When SIM cards have access to GPRS function, a lamp host will work with GPRS network in, in below two cases. A. A lamp host work with Wi-Fi. By starting alarm host AC power failure, then alarm host will automatically switch to work with GPRS network. B. If users have turned off Wi-Fi on alarm host, then the alarm host will work with GPRS network. Note, when the AC power on but Wi-Fi off, the panel cannot automatically switch to work with GPRS. Thanks for buying our alarm system. Hope you will have a good experience with our Wi-Fi alarm system.